Hello everyone, my name is Younes and today I'm just going to give you an example of finding the derivative of the function f of x equals square root of x using the definition. Now normally you all know that f prime of x, which is the derivative of a function in general, is limit when h goes to zero of the quantity f of x plus h minus f of x everything divided by h. Using this definition for our example which is square root of x we are going to have f prime of x equals limit when h reaches zero Quantity f of x plus h is basically square root of x plus h. And the quantity f of x is just square root of x. Everything divided by h. As you can see that there is a problem evaluating this limit because if I plug h into the quantity square root of x plus h, I'm going to be left with square root of x minus square root of x, which is 0, divided by 0. Not possible to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and multiply and divide by the conjugate. The conjugate for this function is, first I'll put parentheses here, and my conjugate will be square root of x plus h plus square root of x. And I will divide by the same quantity which is square root of x plus h plus square root of x, which is the same as multiplying by 1. Now, if I FOIL the top, which is square root of x plus h minus square root of x times square root of x plus h plus square root of x, I'll be I will have limit when h goes to 0. The first term is like in the form of a, a minus b times a plus b, and that foils to a squared minus b squared. In our case, the a part is square root of x plus h, which is, I have to square it, a square root of x plus h squared minus the quantity square root of x squared divided by h multiplied by that same quantity square root of x plus h plus square root of x keep on simplifying my limit it will be limit when h reaches zero now the square root and the square will cancel so all I have is x plus h minus, same thing for the square root of x, square root and the square will cancel, what I'm going to have is x, divided by h times square root of x plus h plus square root of x. And as you see there, that the x and negative x cancels, so I'm left with limit when h reaches 0 of the quantity h divided by square root of x plus h plus square root of x. Now everything here was multiplied by h. Forget about that h. As you see that h on top and h on the bottom cancels, so I am left with limit h goes to 0, uh, 1 divided by square root of x plus h plus square root of x. Now there's no problem plugging the h equals 0 in my expression, 
So this limit evaluates to 1 over square root of x plus 0 plus square root of x, which is 1 over square root of x plus square root of x, which is 1 over 2 times square root of x. And that's my derivative f prime of x of the function square root of x. I hope you liked the video, and thank you for watching.